everyone, it's me, Miss Susan. I'm glad you could join me today. Today I'm going to do an experiment about trusting God. It's called magic milk. You can do this experiment with me. Here's what you need. A container or a pan, something like this one, some milk, some food coloring, dish soap in a container, and a Q-tip or two in the dish soap. All right, put me on pause and go grab these items. Welcome back. So let's talk about trust. What is trust? I searched trust on the internet. This is what the internet defines trust as. A firm belief in the character, strength, or truth of someone or something. What is something you trust? Maybe you trust your backpack to hold your school books, or you trust the school bus to take you to school, or your parents' car to get you to school. I trust this bowl to hold this milk I'm pouring into it. I also trust this table <laughs> that the bowl is sitting on to not fall. All right. Who do you trust and why? Maybe you trust your parents because you know that they will take care of you. You trust your friends because they can always make you laugh. What about if you're on a sports team? You can trust your teammates to do their part to help your team win, right? All right, let's pretend this milk is you and your friends on the playground at school. This food coloring represents kids on the playground that are not playing nicely. And they're kind of actually being kind of mean to you. They're saying mean things to you and your friends. All right, I'm going to add another color because there's more than one kid. These kids are really starting to say some things that are really pretty hurtful. So something that you could do to help the situation get better, you could step up. Let me add a little bit more blue here. All right. You could step up, maybe take a deep breath and say a small prayer. And you can tell them that's not nice. You need to leave us alone. All right. So this is going to be you stepping up and saying something. You ready? Look at that. By doing this, you trusted in God to help you to be brave and stand up to these kids that were doing mean things and saying mean things. And just like this food coloring, they ran away. Here's our Bible verse for today. Joshua 1, 9. Remember, I commanded you to be strong and brave. Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for placing trust in us with your love so we can always show your love to others. Amen. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.